What is up all my beautiful people? I hope you guys are off to a fantastic weekend and happy Saturday. Today, I have my new comic book haul that I picked up about a week ago. They're overall my new books, so it's kind of always a, kind of a mix, mix match of last week's and this week's, and that's just how I do it this week. So uh, Saturday's videos are always gonna be a random surprise, so you never know what you're gonna see, but I am gonna try and be more dedicated to dropping more Saturday videos. So we're gonna start off with, uh, I'm still waiting for uh, bags and boards to come in. So some of these are unbag and boarded to start off, but this is Geiger issue number one. This is the ground zero. Um, very excited to, I need to dive super heavily into this universe. I know so many people were hyping it up with everything with the ghost machine uh, uh, company going on and then the unnamed universe. Uh, as you'll see the next book, um, I got to get some of the other trades and some of the other issues and stuff like that, but I totally missed out on it last year, but this book was a great read. It was a pretty solid introduction to the character, but I definitely want to get more of a backstory on everything going on. So I also picked up the Junkyard Joe number one, and then I also need to get the other issues that are at my LCS. I just wanted to get issue number one to start off with. So I flipped through the artwork of that and that looked right up my alley. So uh, definitely excited definitely excited to read those the next one and again this is probably my read of the week i've read most of these i'm slowly slowly catching up on my reading but this is another image comic book and this is the james tinian the deviant man if you are a horror fan or into it, like slashers or serial killers or uh just in the christmas spirit this book is definitely up your alley and uh like i show you what you mean i got this cutout cover where it's like this and then you got uh, Santa on the cover like that. You do dress as Santa. So uh, super cool book. This is one I flipped through and read in a heartbeat. Very fun read. Another one I'm sad to see go. And shout out to Mark over at Legion of Comics. He went fully into the Mark Millar universe. Uh, but this is Big Game, issue number five. And it's a thick boy. And man, what a wild ride this was. So uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, basically on it without spoiling anything but uh if you haven't read it make sure you guys read it soon and then the big book from last week like i said this is a mix up of some of the more recent stuff and some of the stuff because I, I get my books every two weeks i'm not somebody who goes to lcs every single week so my books are always uh two week piles this is uh transformers this was uh issue number one grabbed a couple of the reprints uh, i think this was like second or third printing one and then uh yeah this was the second printing one but I uh, had to grab that cover fire or uh, cover to uh, match the other one with the logo on there. Sorry, it's been a very long day at work too. So I'm recording this late as usual. And then the book that I was hyped to read was uh, Transformers number two. So definitely, definitely, definitely another absolutely amazing story. I love that cover. And uh, if you haven't read it down there, this guy, definitely excited to see what comes next. And then uh, I grabbed this one as well. I still got a bunch more covers to grab for these, so I'm grabbing them as they, as they come. So, yeah. And then just finished actually watching episode one and two of Monarch and banger show. Uh, make sure you tune into the Sunday Night Sesh and then uh, I'm sure Legion of Comics that week said we'll talk about it. But uh, yeah, definitely hype for anything Godzilla. So this is issue number three of Godzilla There Be Dragons. And then this will complete the set. I've only read issue number one and two, but it's awesome. And then uh, Godzilla, there will be dragons, uh, number five. I and mean, it's basically Godzilla versus pirates. So uh, it's super cool. Grabbing anything Godzilla. I'm totally in the Godzilla, Transformers, G.I. Joe fandom right now. Love it. Uh, another book that I've uh, you saw on my yellow cover challenge but uh, this is Dark Ride, issue number nine. Sorry, the issue number is always a little hidden with the wording. But if you're a fan of horror books, if you're a fan of amusement park books, this is an absolute must read. Grab a trade, I'm pretty sure there's a trade out, but again, such a fun book. And then this was one of the covers of the week for me last week, and this is King Spawn, number 27. You know me, big spawn head. I love everything going on in the spawn books. Gunslinger and King Spawn are probably tied uh, for number one for my favorite uh, Spawn titles. I love how edgy and gritty and dark the artwork is in King Spawn. So amazing. And then we got my second favorite gorilla besides uh, King Kong, but uh, we got Cyborg on the cover. And this is Spawn issue number 346. 
So all the Swan books are all tied together. They're all kind of doing one whole story. If you're not reading any of the Swan books, grab Gunslinger. That is a great kind of standalone story. And then once this kind of story arc boils over and ends, which is definitely coming to a close soon, that's when we're getting all the new Spawn titles next year and uh, 2024. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this whole universe. And then uh, we got the Scorched issue number 23. Love that cover. We got Raven Spawn on the cover. Absolute banger. Plus $2.99. Story's amazing. The artwork's amazing. The covers are amazing. And uh, cheapest uh, price point uh, in the market. So we'll wrap it up with... Uh, Showed this one, should have showed this uh, this one first, but I had him out of order, but this is Scorch issue number 22. And then you got Med Medieval Spawn with his dragon on the cover. So definitely dope. Spawn books are the ones I'm lacking reading. Uh, I've, I've actually been reading all the random uh, indie titles and Transformers. So I need to sit down and have a big Spawn sesh and catch up on everything. One of my favorite DC books, this is Superman Lost, issue number tw uh, seven. 7 out of 10, uh, I'm going to be sad to see this one go because, like I said, this is definitely by far one of my favorite DC books I'm reading. Love the artwork and stuff. Not a fan of reading this, but I picked it up for the wraparound cover. This is Superman. I'm pretty sure it's the 30th anniversary special. Yeah, 30th anniversary special. Uh, it basically catches you up on everything going on in Superman, but I'm reading most of the Superman books. So just got that for the wraparound cover, and I'm a sucker for foil. And then, I think this is Batman 138. Uh, it's the foil cover. Uh, I'm very excited. I've been loving, loving, loving Chip Zardesky's run from uh, when he took over with Failsafe and currently. So I'm excited. I know Joker's coming, so I'm excited to see how he writes that and how that plays out. And then we'll get into Marvel and then we'll wrap it all up. I grabbed two of the Spider-Boy covers because I didn't like anything that said the Marvels on the cover. I think the movie things always just ruin the comic book covers. But I'm pretty sure this is the uh, Care Andrews. Uh, it's that foil cover. This is my favorite. Absolute banger. Also, a great story. It was a great introduction to his first uh, Soul series. And then uh, grab the negative space cover. So I'm hit or miss on the negative space ones, but I thought this one was cool. And I'm kind of collecting anything Spider Boy anyway, so if I see it, I'm going to grab it. And then another banger book. If you're into horror, if you're into crazy stuff, uh, Hawk issue number five. I'm pretty sure the next issue is where we're going to get Ghost Rider or Zombie Ghost Rider or something like that. So I'm definitely excited to see where that goes. Artwork's phenomenal. Story's fun. So you can't beat that. And then I think, I'm pretty sure this was just a one shot, but I grabbed the variant cover for the Ultimate Invasion and number one with Thor on it. Still loving the Ultimate Invasion stuff. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's basically, uh, for me, a lot of the Marvel books are not top tier quality like they should be. Spider-Man, other things like that. So uh, if you're not totally invested in the regular Marvel Universe, it's nice that we're going to have the Ultimate Universe and like Superior Spider-Man and stuff like that to really invest in and then uh, kind of take our minds off and kind of have a palate cleanse. So that's it. That's a great haul. Uh, pretty thick stack of books if you ask me. Let me know in your comments uh, if you're reading any of these, what your favorite cover is. If there's any recommendations or maybe something I missed or a cover or anything like that. Like I said, just leave it all in the comments. I love interacting with you guys and it really means the world to see that support. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get to editing this video because it's definitely going to be another late Friday night. So I wish you all the best. I hope you guys have an absolutely great and amazing Saturday. I hope to see you tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Sunday night sesh. Great panel of guests. We have a cover theme. We show off things we picked up. Talk about the week in culture and stuff like that. So I'm sure there'll be plenty, some pretty good Godzilla talk. King of Monsters, baby. So on that note, I love you guys to death. I hope you enjoy your night. And as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.